Okay, next stage is to do the pointing on the patio. Uh, we touched on this in the episode where Frank came along to give us some advice. And what we're going to do is use the compound, uh, the resin compound, which is a uh, fast point. It's Stone Market's version. There's a few on the market. Uh, this one seems to have really good reviews. So uh, we've got it all ready. And the first job to, well, first job we've just done is to go around and rake out just to make sure everything is nice and uh, deep. All the uh, joints are going to be 20 mil deep at least. Um, so I use an old kind of grout rake or a bit of um, metal to, to take that out. And next thing we're going to do is just wet it all down, leave it for five minutes, and you just got to keep soaking it basically. You can't get it too wet. Uh, and then we'll start brushing, brushing it in. And we went around with the shop back just to suck out any of the bits that were stuck down in the, uh, in the joints. So it's going in well, pretty impressed so far. It's kind of a um, a weird texture. It's kind of I don't know, almost plas rubbery, plasticky to start with. Um, but yeah, brush it in. Try to keep everything as wet as possible. We're striking it off with a kind of a brick finishing trowel, whatever you call it. Uh, so we're having a little bit of a convex or concave uh, joint, which is fine. Uh, so we're going around doing that and then topping up where we need to, just kind of pushing it in to start with and then adding a little bit extra to get it nice and flush with the top of the, the stones. So we got on okay last night, as you saw, doing the main patio with the fast point. Uh, this is the smaller section, which has only just been laid actually. Um, and I'm kind of slowly mastering it. I probably should have practiced on this one before tackling the big patio, but um, I think last night, well, we didn't help anything by doing it at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, you really need some good light to be able to see exactly what you're doing. Um, but it looks okay, I'm happy with it. The one thing I don't think, we did, although we kept the whole place wet, we didn't actually kind of hose it off as we went. Whereas here, I've just been using a soft brush and, uh, and a mist on the hose, and it's almost clearing all the grains off the um, stones as I go. Whereas the other one, there was just, I wouldn't call it staining, but just like 
little flecks of um, of the resin that sat on the stone, and they will go um, after a few days, from what I've read. So I'm not too concerned about it, but uh, by keeping it really, really wet and kind of almost brush wet washing it into the joint, it seems to be working a lot better and a lot cleaner. And cost-wise, I think they you can get them. We got this at the local builders merchant, but you can get them online as well. And I think they range from about 30 to 40 pounds a tub. But actually, um, for this size patio, like I say, we're using far less than one tub. And if you spent several hundred pounds or more on the stone, and then all that work's gone into the sub base, actually an extra 30 quid to get a really nice finish, um, I think it's, it's justifiable. So I think it's looking okay. I'm happy with the, uh, the joints, and we'll go around and tidy up in a minute. So I'll just show you how I'm hosing it off afterwards. I've got a pile here which I'm sweeping to, so any excess I can sweep up and use again, like I said. Uh, but I'm just going to hose it down and then give it a good brush and hopefully we can get an idea of how it's finished. So I'm just using a really soft brush and then in a, in a few hours I'll probably come out and give it another little hose and clean. And just going across the joints so you don't actually end up sweeping it out. A bit, it's just the same as when you're grouting tiles, really, when you're sponging off. Wow. Maybe one last rub over with the tool, just to make sure we've got no kind of fluffy top to it or loose bits. And then I'm going to leave it for a few hours and come back and have a wash down. And here's a couple of quick photos I took on my phone of the finished patio. We've still got a lot to do and still got the path to point as well and the steps to build. So in the next video we're going to be doing a similar process, pointing the path. And then we just need to use some of the remaining sandstone and limestone uh, to rebuild the steps between the upper and lower garden. So uh, stay tuned for that one and remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time.